Hi Virgo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your reading for February. This is for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. February, at any time in February. Okay, we're just going to see what comes up. Generally, I focus on love, you know, it is what it is, right? Virgo, what do we got for Virgo? The Emperor, the Emperor. Oh, God. Emperor is around for Earth signs. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I don't know who this Emperor is, um, but this Emperor is very prominent in your life right now. This is a very dominant male, masculine energy that is very protective, very controlling, um, very... Uh, organized, um, knowledgeable, wise, um, really, oh my God, this person is definitely affecting you this month in some way, this person is very, this person is dominating your thoughts or dominating your mind, interesting. This, this could be a father figure. This could be your father or the father of your children or a husband even. I mean, if he's not a father, he's father of material, you know. Um, very headstrong individual. Very strong individual, period. Oh my gosh. Now, you may be needing to look at something from a new perspective. This guy is coming forward. Uh, he's very decisive. He's very protective. But there's some bitterness here. Anger. Could have been a third party situation. I don't know. We're going to get some more cards. But there's an opportunity for a union. There's an opportunity for love. And this guy wants it. Whoever this guy is. Whether it's with you or not. I don't know. A revelation. Somebody has had some sort of revelation about their future some sort of wake-up call there's a lost opportunity here there's a lost something has been lost with the death card okay something has been lost somebody may want forgiveness okay somebody may want to resurrect something from the dead just say this is resurrection, the death, whatever. Something, an opportunity that has already been gone. It's been gone for a while or it's just about lost or it's just about out of sight. Or, you know, maybe somebody's finally deciding to let go. Finally deciding to let go of a union that is no longer prosperous. There's no more abundance in it. And, you know, it's time for me to focus on my future. So, you know, somebody is, is making a decision of some sort to perhaps let go. Let go of something that they have held on to. A dead-end situation, perhaps. I don't know. We're going to get some more cards. Finding the strength to head in a new direction after stalling. You know, you could be dealing with this. This man could be could be the one that did that. If you are the Virgo woman and you were dealing with a very controlling man, somebody that was very controlling and manipulative, this man could have had some sudden awakening and he turns his back on you. And now you got to find your strength to let go. That could be the case. For some of you, this is a man that is waking up. 
He's had some sort of revelation. Yeah, he has had some sort of revelation. He's been some, but something has told him something in, you know, his inner guides or wisdom. You know, intuition is a form of wisdom, right? It is. So I feel as though we have this very wise man who's been told something. I don't know if this is zoomed in. So it's like he knows he has to do something. And he's been getting prepared. He's been getting prepared. Interesting. To release. So I think there's been a there's been a release here. Somebody is breaking free from something that didn't make them happy. And I think this has been well thought out because this person is very wise. He took his time to think about it. Somebody is definitely breaking free from a situation that doesn't make them happy. And the other person is going to have to find their strength to let go. There is a loss here. There is a loss of something. There's a loss of uh, security. Something that that somebody thought was secure, something that they had, it's gone. It's no longer here. It's like you can't, you can't save it. It's too late. It's already gone, you know. And now you, and now you gotta hold your head up high and find your own wish fulfillment, right? You gotta walk away and find your own self love because the Eight of Cups leads to the Nine of Cups. The Eight of Cups is walking away. And she doesn't look very content. Okay, we have the Nine of Cups. Yeah, she's happy on her own. She's She's happy on her own. You gotta find your own happiness. So somebody is finding the strength to hold their head up high after somebody has broken free. So or some burden has been dropped, or something that was overwhelming has been dropped. Okay, something heavy that has been hindering your movement something has been keeping you stuck something has been making you feel down it's been keeping you back is being released it's being it's it is you may not you may not see it that way though you may not see it that way you may be bitter. Somebody may be bitter about it. Somebody may be upset. There could be another woman. There could be another man. It could be either way. But it feels like you got to work on your self-love. you got to work on your, your, uh, your heart. I feel like somebody is... It's going to be emotional. It is definitely going to be emotional. Because somebody is letting go after they have held on to something. And it's changes that are happening. There's there's major a transition that is going on, a transformation. Death and temperance are both transformation. So somebody here is going through a, tra a life transformation. It's like their whole purpose is changing. Or they're finding out, they're realizing what the purpose is. And it hurts. It hurts. Something is hurting with that Queen of Swords. Um... Reverse, definitely emotional, definitely emotional. There could be some backlash that comes out. There could be some anger mixed with tears over this drop. You know, this is definitely a drop. Okay, something is being dropped. Okay, something is being dropped um, because it was it was too negative. It was too negative. There was no more growth there, and somebody is going to have to find the strength to. Walk away and love themselves enough to evolve and accept change and be patient with themselves and make compromises and just heal. You know, nurture themselves. So I, I really feel like there's a completion of a chapter here. Something that is no longer able to be saved you can't save it 
It's something that you have been getting prepared for. You probably saw that it was coming. Somebody has made a decision to wake up and tell the truth or accept the truth of a situation because there's no happiness there and walk away. It's too heavy to carry. So whether this is a father in your life or a husband or a father figure or a boss or some male presence that is in your life may be deciding to walk away and drop the situation. Just drop it. I'm going to drop it because it's not... Practical, because he's very practical. Um, somebody has changed. It's like they're no longer wanting this union. He's not even looking at the union anymore. He's just looking at his bank account. He's looking at his money. He's looking at how much money he has. So we could have somebody here that is deciding that he doesn't really want a union anymore. And it's going to be emotional. Yeah, we do. We have a we have somebody that is no longer emotionally invested in love, okay? Emotionally withdrawn, shutting down emotionally. It's like their their heart is shutting down. And there's probably going to be a lot of memories. There's going to be a lot of um, stuff that comes up that, that kind of like makes somebody, that has made somebody stay this far. You know, the memories. The memories has cause this person to stay but it, it's like is that enough is that enough is the memories the enough and i feel like like this person is somebody has been holding on to the past and now they and now they have an opportunity. That maybe it's just holding on to the memories. They have an opportunity to walk away from the, whoever this person is. This person's already walked away from them, and now they have an opportunity to heal from the situation and stop giving it energy. You know, stop investing in it. Stop trying to uh, make it work. You know, because it was a it's a poor decision. You can't you can't. keep living with this these ups and downs and there has been a lot of ups and downs in a situation it's just somebody sees that it's not it's not logical it's not practical you can't juggle something that is upside down you can't juggle something that is falling away you know what i mean it's just not stable it's not secure it's too much it's overwhelming Somebody is deciding to not focus on the relationship because it's too much. It's just too much for me. I can't do this. I'm not going to do this. So somebody's given up. I'm sorry to say that. And waiting, waiting for the right thing. I'm going to wait. I know what I need to do, and I'm going to wait for my perfect opportunity. And now they, and somebody has somebody that is better suited for them. And they're trying not to get distracted. Yeah, somebody is making a decision to block communication. A, cer a firm, solid decision. You know, the decision is being made. It's logical. This person has done his homework. And it's like, I'm not using my heart at this time. I know what I need to do. And I need to broaden my horizons. We have somebody here that has this new vision and they probably have their eye on somebody else. 
So they've made a decision to cut somebody out because they're they're going after a new abundance, you know. They may be deciding to move because it's just time. It's just time to end this relationship. This is a relationship. Travel, perhaps, the world. Somebody could have met somebody on the internet and now they want to have a relationship with them. And they have to walk away from something that is no longer practical. Anyhow, Virgo, you have a do you do this is a new opportunity right here. You might be receiving some sort of message from somebody that excites you. Okay, or the person that you're dealing with has, and they're just deciding that they they don't they want they want to follow their passion. I got this. I just want to follow my passion. Somebody has this new passionate opportunity in which they want to take it. It's like I've, if I have to move, I have to move. I gotta follow my desires. It's like they have this newfound desire to just explore. I gotta explore. They know there's more to it than this. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. So I feel like somebody is deciding to take control and leave a situation and search for the perfect scenario, okay? In order to do that, they're going to have to turn their back on a different situation. There's multiple options here, and I think whoever this person is that's leaving really knows that, knows that they have multiple options, and they, they aren't willing to just live this mundane life anymore whatever it is whatever it is they're just looking for more they're looking for more they've had some sort of wake-up call for sure and their intuition has told them that it's time for them to take the lead and take control of their lives and head in a new direction towards what they are passionate i gotta follow i gotta follow my own visions and if that includes moving and making a hard tough decision in which it hurts you and breaks your heart then I'm sorry but I gotta do what's right for me somebody is deciding to do what's right for them because that's what they have to do and the other person is going to be super emotional about it and might be bitter and angry and upset and cry and whatever five of cups reversed but eventually, whoever this person is, if it hasn't happened already, is going to realize that there's a better opportunity. It may have already happened. Somebody may be realizing, I do have a better opportunity for love, and that's what I have to go and get. Somebody is taking back control of their lives. I have to break free from this situation. It's time for me to take back my power and live again. So yeah, somebody is going after the Two of Cups. I want that love. I want that that real love and in order to do that I'm gonna have to make a decision that is logical rather than um, you know I have to follow my own path somebody is following their intuition and broadening their horizons I mean that's what I see walking away from something walking away from a relationship, you know, something that, you know, once was stable. Maybe you lived with somebody or something like that. A relationship where you perhaps you lived with each other and somebody's walking away because they're just not happy anymore. Because they got to take back control. So that's what I see. I mean, that is what I see. Do I see new love coming in? Well, there could be a new suitor yes there could be a new suitor that is either in your life or the person that left I mean there is somebody on um, that you know there's a third party here whether it's for you or the other person there is another person yes there is and uh, probably more than one okay there's definitely a lot of options here and somebody knows it I mean, we have Taurus, Virgo, we have Capricorn a couple times. We have Aries, um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. All of them. Everybody's here. Everybody. Multiple people in the mix here. 
somebody is leaving one relationship because there's just too much. It's too overwhelming. There's too much chaos. There's too much disorder. And I got to take back control of my life. I got to. That's what this is. Discovering truth. Like I said, I revelation right at the very beginning. Remember I said right at the very beginning that somebody was having a revelation. That is exactly what's going on here too. It is, it is. The truth. The truth. This is labeled truth in many decks. So the truth is becoming out. Discovering truth. You stand in the light of truth. I mean, it's the, that is it right there. It's like you can't hide it anymore. You can't. Or they can't. It's either you or them. Listen to the wisdom that rises from your soul, even if those around you don't agree. Trust your instincts. Isn't that funnier than hell? Trust your instincts. Be yourself, whatever the situation, and respond from the authentic place inside. Be starkly honest with yourself. Speak your truth. Live your truth. Walk your talk. Listen to your inner guidance and follow it. You radiate the energy of truth to others so that you can find their truth. What well, I just read describes these three cards. You own it. You own it. You're the boss. Speak your truth. If you are facing a decision and your mind says one thing, which we know this is the case, but anyway, if you are facing a decision and your mind says one thing and your heart says another, follow the dictates of your heart. And you'll be on the right path. If you get a nudge to speak to someone or go in a particular direction, don't hesitate. Follow this guidance. On your journey, others may indicate what path you should take and why. You can listen to their advice. However, if your heart indicates another way, follow that. There is a place inside of yourself that always knows the truth. Take time to be still to discover that genuine, genuine place within, of knowing within. Often the hardest thing about living your truth is discovering what it is. So it's important, it's really important for you to slow down, be quiet, and listen to the whispers of the souls, of the soul, soul. If there is an area of your life in which you are not being authentic or where you are not in integrity with your values, this is the time to make some changes. It is time to make some changes. Stand in the light of your truth. If you got to move, you got to move. There's no growth in one situation. And by not taking action, it's just going to get worse and worse and worse. Shit rolls downhill, right? Follow your truth. Good luck. Make that decision. That's what this is about. Decision making time. So that you can get around the corner is love. Real love. But that's around the corner. Not facing it yet. Because there's some kind of serious decision that needs to be made. And you know exactly what it is. Good luck. <laughs>